relax, Cal. Hi, everybody. Uh, Mark Cogan here for the Photographer Academy, and we're in the studio today. We've kind of put together a very, very small studio set to kind of uh, bring us a little bit more of a French kind of boudoir kind of element, you know, lots of fab fabrics and so on. Uh, in fact, what we've got here um, is a three light setup and a wonderful model called Kelsey. Many of you are familiar with her on the Academy now. And uh, we're creating a kind of a different mood and feel. And what you're going to see is the difference between the different lights. Um, Kelsey, if you just uh, cover yourself just a little bit more with a bit more net while I explain it. And just go to sleep for a minute, you're fine. Um, so what, what we're doing is basically, first, first of all, let me put that plastic glass down. Uh, we've got a blow-up bed. We've got a, a mattress on top just to keep it nice and warm in Studio One because this is an old church, let's not forget that, okay? Uh, and then basically behind the, cur uh, the curtain, we've got a highlight, uh, which is a small seven by five soft, soft box, originally designed to be a background, but we use it a lot as a light source as such. Then uh, other part of the set, we've got a movable wall. And then this movable wall can actually be kind of obviously moved around the, stu uh, the studio to change the shape and the place and so on. In this case, uh, Kels, uh, the Kelsey was doing a trampoline act before we got going, throwing the netting up <laughs> over that she was really, what she wasn't jumping them down, but she was throwing it over, over the top. So just to kind of soften this wall. And this is just a, a wallpaper that we've actually got on this movable wall. On the other side, it's a hand painted old master kind of thing. Um, three lights, okay, so we've got um, a light which is in the highlight, we've got another one in the sky which is the honeycomb, now they were the original idea for the actual shoot that I was doing when I was setting it up. I'm a massive fan of a photographer who's no longer with us, David Hamilton, and basically his pubescent kind of teen images, his romanticism, uh, his kind of erotica and everything else with it is absolutely, I know it's not everybody's taste, but uh, growing up in the 80s as a, a young photographer, being influenced more like the Impressionist in painting, and then the likes of David Hamilton in one half for all the colour, the pastel work, the Norman Parkinson's for all the fashion, harsh, black and white, and then the Bob Carlos Clark's kind of the modern, thug, funky fashion photographer looking at all the kind of the, the different kind of edgier style of fashion. So taking all these influences together allows you to mix it all together with your own style. So uh, basically the two lights here, which were the original ones, they, they kind of do their job. Let me show them to you first, okay? We'll just show them straight up on the screen. So um, I've set them into different groups. Um, if I just pop it for a minute, you'll see that group four is the light that is behind the netting, okay? That is the high, uh, the highlight. Group one is basically the overhead light, yes? That is the honeycomb. That's what I, the real light I thought was gonna be my main light source until I decided, I decided about 10 minutes before I was about to start the shoot that no, 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 I need a smaller slit of light and I need a, a, a kind of a more of a small window Parisian kind of look and feel. So in the group three, just between the, uh, the movable wall and the, high, uh, the highlight is a small little light, which you'll see during the course of the film. And what that is doing is giving me that look and feel. So let, let me show you one in turn. So the highlight itself will give me the window look. Okay, so let's take that quick shot. Uh, Kels, if you just want to pop our uh, hands away just a little bit more. Do you know what? Let's get, let's get you up into the, corn, uh, the corner up there. Can we just uh, lean in against that win uh, the window and just at least look in towards the light sources? Okay, cover up uh, the uh, thigh with a little bit of net for me if you can. Just pull as much as you can around you. Put some one layer just across the feet as well. You just do that one as well for me. That's good. Let's bring the right knee much, much higher and the left knee much, much lower. Kind of, that's lovely there. And just lean in and kind of looking out towards this side. That's gorgeous there. Okay, so let's just see what the highlight is doing. That's the big light behind the soft box itself. Okay, so there's the, uh, the kind of the basic image that we're gonna see. Now, it's warmth in color is because of the amount of netting that we've actually got running, okay? So that's the only reason why you're seeing a slight different warmth there. Let's see the uh, overhead honeycomb, which again, remember, I thought was gonna be my main light source. Uh, let's shoot it. And it still could be 
The difference being though, is that I couldn't get a small enough honeycomb and I couldn't get it in the exact place I, want, I wanted it. And if you've been here 10 minutes before, you, uh, like my team were, then you'll know what I was trying to do. But I couldn't get it any closer to Kelsey's face uh, because of obviously the blow up bed. You, uh, usually the metal frame bed we use is basically a lot easier for us to slide the actual poly stand right, uh, right underneath. But to be fair, once I put the other light in place, uh, which is that light behind, um, that's my light source. Okay, so that is really the window light quality. And you would swear that you are in somebody's home at that point. And this is a real kind of uh, easy kind of set setup to really get a great image and things really. So uh, most of the shoot that you're gonna be seeing is basically with, Kels, uh, with Kelsey being shot with this light. Um, but I'll kind of, uh, I'll talk you through when we're kind of move, moving through the different kind of uh, lighting setup so at least you can see it. But I'm never photographing all of the lights together. There's only one light being used at any one time. Enjoy, enjoy the film. I'm gonna get on photographing with Kelsey and we'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye. Okay, just there for me. Looking away again for me. Okay, let's bring this knee up just a little bit higher, this one, that's lovely, and push the other leg out just a touch more. That's gorgeous there, that's great. Eyes to me now, please, Kelsey. That's gorgeous, lean the head in towards here. Bring that hand up a little bit higher, to, just let it go higher, so not onto the hair at all, that's gorgeous. Let's use both the hands up near that same place, that's gorgeous. Looking off towards here again. Eyes to me again. Keep, keep it slightly roll around to me, Kelsey. Roll the whole body to me. That's good, just there. Just bring this one hand across more, I think, just actually down onto here. Okay, just let that knee flop away just a little bit more so it's not quite boudoir. That's lovely, it's there. Lay flat with the head back. See there's a little bit of curl of um, netting on this, this side here. Just push it down there more. That's great. And again for me, keep it, that's lovely. And once more, keep there. Let's just bring my step stool in. So at this stage, um, we've got a nice safe light in, that's all really. Um, it's a good win window light kind of quality. Let me just move my focus point. Quick test. I'm looking back to the screen all the time because obviously it doesn't come up on my camera when I'm doing it. So I lo I'm loving this kind of fully, but let's have a quick look at what the other light is going to do, that group three. Yeah, let's just see the difference there. And that's going to give me more of a smaller light source and more this kind of dreamy. And that's what I really love. Okay, so I'm going to now kind of concentrate more on that light. Until about five minutes before we went live, didn't we? That light didn't go in place. And I'm speaking out loud to myself. What have I done wrong? What, why can't I get it here? And I was frustrated at this light, why I couldn't get it in the correct position. So it's just slow down. Think about what we're trying to achieve. We know that the more dramatic light is always going to be come from behind the subject anyway. So let's get that light into that position. That's the key thing. All right, so let's do it. Okay, Kels, uh, let's bring this hand down just to actually towards the nickel line more and things, Willie. Really. Just bring this hand down, just uh, around by the hands. That's lovely. Looking off towards here, darling. Let's kind of just focus off there a little bit more. Great. Now remember, the D, the D light one doesn't recharge as fast because it's a, a, a kind of an en entry level flash. So give it that little bit of time to actually do the shot. Let's. Um, uh, show, show you a technique to kind of just soften uh, if we don't have anything else. Let's do this one shot first. Kels, raise at the chin, looking out for me more. That's beautiful. Okay, now let's just take off the hood. Yeah, focus first on the face, switch the focus off. Slight breath on the lens. And then straight away, we've kind of softened that image down. Okay, so that's an easy, quick way to actually move from... Uh, all in camera go in to look for a, a kind of a real controlled as if you're a film photographer in other words you're not actually really allowed to do anything in the post-production and so on with it so what uh, so what did i do again the same shot if i just take off the hood for one minute it focuses back on let's do the same shot eyes closed for this one please Kels. raise this knee up just a touch more that's lovely and open that other knee out just by bet that's gorgeous there let's do it keep it so there's our first shot, okay? That's uh, no light really flaring into it. Same focus onto the face, focus off, <sighs> quick breath onto the lens. And as the lens starts to um, defog itself, you get a slightly different look and feel. Let's put the focus back on again and just start to bring in the likes of the plastic glass, yeah? To kind of get a different kind of look and feel. So this once more, 
will, just by holding it in front of the lens, will pretty much reflect something if something's around. So it could actually reflect the light. We could actually just uh, put it in place to kind of almost cut the uh, image in half so you can kind of start to see how it uh, begins to actually blend in. Once more, so that's pretty cool. Let the uh, light come through again, like it. Let's just let it bend out a touch more so it's not as dominant. And then let's uh, focus it through it, yeah? So if we just kind of focus there, that's the shot without it. That's kind of with it on. And you can see it's really not doing much of a difference there. It will just knock out the focus. Let's um, just scratch it up a bit. Now, if you were photographing the likes of F16, oh, I've got plastic all over me. If you're photographing the likes of F16, we're gonna see all those scratches and everything else. But now as we start to actually allow that, uh, let's shoot it without first, shoot it with it. There you go. Let's see if there's any dif a difference between the two. We can see it slightly off soft. So again, the, the benefit there don't go to sleep there, Kels. Mine okay? We'll need you back in a minute. I'm just going to scratch the other end. Scratch it a lot more. And this kind of thing is as old as time. <laughs> uh, make your own filters. Um, the softening filters that Hasselblad used to make were around about £150 each for a small little thing that used to screw onto the lens. So let's do the same shot, keep it, and then bring in that uh, really scratched up part. And you can just move, move it around to kind of just change that softness element kind of going through the image. Let's have a quick look. I love that. So that is just, I'm not sure which is the best cam uh, camera to show that on, Brandon. That one? Yeah. So can you see that yeah, yeah. scratching, yeah? And uh, again, there's the difference between the first one that we did, just a bit of a scratch, yeah? And then this, this, this one way more kind of actually there with it. Uh, but you can remember, you could color this, you can actually do, uh, do as much as you want with it. But once you've got the right thing, then you use it time and time again. What the benefit of this is, it allows us to shoot consistently so we're not having to switch the focus on and off. There are some times that um, what the camera is seeing, it can't focus through it. So uh, that's why I like to hold it by hand, take it away, bring it back in again. Slightly different when we're working on a tripod, of course, because then uh, I can basically switch the focus part off on the lens and then basically just uh, uh, leave, leave this in place. But in this case, there's gonna be a lot of freestyle going on. So let's kind of do it again. Ready, Kels? To me, darling, raise the chin up a little bit more if you can. Let me just shoot from above. I really want some of this uh, plastic to uh, catch as much of the flare of the lens as I can. Let me just put that lens hood away. So remember, if it can see light, it can diffuse it. If it, if it doesn't get infected by light, uh, basically it's not gonna work as well. Let's do it. Eyes open, calcium looking higher and away. Let's bring the other hand up towards here again for me. That's lovely. Let's keep it. Again. Let's bring you up more of a, a kind of, kind of coming up to that direct, a direction for me. Bring them a little bit higher. Do you wanna bring another pillow up a little bit higher for you? And just really push yourself back in to there anyway. Let's bring this one knee up higher and cover up some of the leg with it. Can you do one, one layer of net, yeah? That's cool. I love the texture of that um, jacket. Can you bring that onto the hip? Just one layer again. That's great. Just bring this foot up higher. A little bit more. There you go, let's do it. Reeling back at that gorge there. Turn the head around towards here more. Looking just down towards the floor. Let's do it again. Keep it. Straight at me now, Kels. Keep it. Um, let's just bring both hands across and kind of almost roll across and lean. And just looking out again. Let's do it without. 
focus is on good. Let's do it again. Keep it. One more. Love it. Let's uh, uh, really, really like that effect and things, really. Let's just bring a little bit of uh, blue light in. So let's set the color balance into tungsten mode. And when we set the color balance into tungsten mode, of course, uh, anything that is white light becomes blue. So this can add a little bit more. Obviously, we would usually add this in in the post-production. I could even shoot the JPEG with it and things, really, as far as adding a little bit of blue kind of quality. So remember that the raw file basically exists as that anyway. Okay, let's do a couple more. Leaning back, Kels, more with your head more. It's, go it's go gorgeous. Uh, the mistake I've made, let's bring this left hand up high towards here again. Grab a piece of the net in and the window and bring it into you and use the other hand up there as well, I think. That's gorgeous. Keep it. Once more, looking out again. A couple more. Great, let me just change position. So in the same way now, just move, uh, move in position. So remember, we haven't got anything funky going on as far as camera's concerned, uh, uh, software's concerned. It's just all being done in camera any anyway. I want a lot of the light in. Just uh, dis disconnect there a minute. Sorry about that, Brandon. Okay, I'm just going to switch back on again. That's great. Quick test, gals. Okay, so I'm just going to turn to the ver vertical mode just to actually get some shots. I think it's more of a horizontal image. Keep it. Let's check it. Oh, I love it. Okay, it's good to stay. Let's do it again. Kels, can you kind of shuffle down to me fully? I want you almost laying flat, so you'll need to bring that. Um, yeah, that's lovely. Both hands back for me again, darling. There's no real light coming in to you, so you'll have to be away. That's gorgeous. In fact, look back to me again. It's going to be terrible, but eyes shut. Just use the um, one hand, just actually the top part of the leg, and just bring a little bit of net in. Wrap your hand in it. Let's, look, let's do it. Do it again. Let's keep it. D, D, D. Love it. Eyes, up. Eyes open at me now. Excellent. Relax. So, you know, if we, um, if we were to look at that last image where Kelsey's looking at me, it's, it's really bad as far as the... Um, if it's supposed to be perfect. But we already knew that if she was going to look to me, there was no light within the actual face at all within things really. But it's all about kind of giving yourself this feeling, this emotion and so on. But look at that small set of what we've crea uh, created. Um, there's other things that we could all obviously do is add some more gel to any of the lights to kind of warm it up a little bit. Um, it doesn't have to be kind of wanting to be in a tungsten mode. Many of you are so used to the post-production point that today we wouldn't even think about warming up a light. We would do it in the post. But in the film days, of course, anything that we were doing was actually kind of trying to and had to be done actually in camera anyway. Let's um, kind of almost uh, bring your head round down to here for me. Let's take the f legs over towards that direction. Keep your dignity though, yeah? I've turned back into, that's great. Can you get those legs almost up the wall? That's great. Just bring this hand, these hands back. That's okay. Everything's covered. And looking away to the touch more again. Keep it. Let me just refo refocus. Uh, let's just have a quick look. It's lovely. Let's bring the plastic back on again to diffuse. Kels, let's lose this uh, right hand down towards the uh, pants. That one is going to come around by the breast, just below the breast itself, and the back of the hand is on the breast, just underneath the breast. That's beautiful. Turn the head away fully, looking towards there again. So not shooting the full length, as you can see. You just get the right kind of focus. Turn the head away more, darling. Love it. Let's shoot from above. Keep it. Kels, can you just move down that way a little bit more for me? That's great. Do it again. Cover over. That's it. Go 
gorgeous, let's do it. Turn the head back to me again. Really down to me. Keep it. Now looking back fully towards the light for me again. It's gorgeous. And again, keep it. Shoot from above, just a couple. Remember, I've got the wrong light in the background, yeah? I should have really put that as an, uh, an ELC 500 or 1000 with it. Like it, let's open those legs just a little bit more. So just open that knee, let it kind of slip. Pull a bit of the uh, gown away from the crotch just to reveal the knicker, that's lovely. Let's do the same thing again. See what it's like. Okay, let's do it. One more. Keep it. Shoot the same shot. Brilliant. Relax, Kelsey. Nice shot, darling. Great. Really nice. 